Alright, here's just a wee quick video on like seizing your bag, because um, Macy's haven't done this before. Uh, so first of all, things you'll need, you'll need about five of the kind of big corks, um, wire brushes are also your seasoning. Um, when you're picking your seasoning, you can't mix the seasoning, so if you're using like, airtight for example, you can't use Robertson's or MG with it, because it'll go gunky and clunky and it'll just, it won't merge well. So, so if you... When you first get your bag, you'll need to season it once a week for the, for the first wee bit, and then that'll become once a month. Um, so what you do is you take out the fridge, I usually keep mine in the fridge. Uh, you take the lid off, just place it back on top, don't screw it back on. Pop it in the microwave, and just put that on for 30 seconds. Right, after that's been on for 30 seconds, you just take it out. Be careful because it can be quite warm. Put the lid back on tight, get a good shake, take the lid off, place it back on, and then put it in for another 30 seconds. There might be the indication where it might just go to overflow, so just be prepared to clean it up if it does that, okay? Right, so that's it, heated up a wee bit. Um, leave it just to kind of kind of cool down for like a wee bit for like maybe 30 seconds to a minute um, and what you need to do with your bag is you need to stop kind of cork sorry blow pipe like your, your full stock oh I that's another thing make sure any tube you have in here is taken out because you don't want that in there while it's getting seasoned because it just gets in the road so split stock base drone and the two tenors make sure they're corked up trying to stock should have nothing because that's where the seasoning is going to go down into okay and if you have first bag, the usually maybe put in like half a half a tin of seasoning, just to make sure you get a really good amount of seasoning in, in there. So what you do is just very carefully just take that and just pour it down the channel stock, so you're getting a good amount on the neck. This is my bag's third season, I think. Make sure you got some. Make sure you got some kitchen paper on hand as well. Uh, to kind of, just kind of. Put that in there and just give the stock a wee wipe down just so the cork doesn't get too slidey when it gets in there because you don't want seasoning exploding out your bag. So just get your cork and just put that in there and just kind of rock, just do this, just rock it backwards, backwards and forwards. Um, the reason why I don't want the blow pipe in there now is because I don't want seasoning to get on the valve. So just do that, just get it, just kind of spread it around as much as you possibly can. Um, take it down in the areas, like the neck especially, and get a good rub. And pay attention to the, the seam along here, make sure to get right in, right in there when you're rubbing this in. Just a wee quick rub in. Right, next thing you do. Let's take the cork out of your blowpipe stock. Be very careful, make sure it's pointing upwards. Stick your blowpipe in. And then just inflate the bag. And just be very careful with the corks and just rock it backwards and forwards. As much as you can to get it right in, into the seam. Shake it about and keep blowing air into the bag now and again just to keep it tight because the air pressure will actually push the seasoning into the skin and it'll become a lot more airtight. The reason why we use seasoning is A to keep the bag airtight so it's so you can actually use it. If you don't season your bag, your bag will not be able to work at all. And it also kind of improves the tone a wee bit. That's it, airtight. Also, what I say, take your time with this process. Don't rush it. You rush it, you're going to make a, a crap job of it, and there'll be no point in doing it. So it's really take your time. You're probably looking at about 20 minutes to half an hour. From but take the put the put the bottle in the microwave to like drain in the bag. Like really, really take your time.
they were to take care of this and pay attention to this kind of stuff, the better your pipes are going to work, it's the same with everything like hemping or playing them. Right, this bag's pretty airtight. This is the important bit because my first bag I ever had, I didn't pay attention to the laws of physics and the season came firing out. So you need to slowly take a cork and slowly and carefully twist it out until it's kind of doing that. Until its ears just be kind of fizzing past and let the air fizz past. This is so that the seasoning does not just go gush and come straight out. So we'll give your cork a wee clean. And the stock you've taken it out of. Because you don't want seasoning to get stuck in the stalks. You want the stalks to be clean. Right, well, 100% clean. Um, next thing you need to do, take your blowpipe out. And give the valve a wee wipe. And then squeeze the air out the bag, all of it, and then just put the cork back into the blowpipe stock. This is the bit that kind of looks weird because the stock, but we'll put it next, I'm going to, I'm going to really rub this, the, the seasoning into the bag now, the stocks are going to clatter off each other, just accept it, it's the way things are, okay? Don't be a risk when you're doing this, do circular motions, you can do that as well. Pay attention to any dry spots the new bag might have, it'll mostly be dry. You'll have to play it in a wee bit. These bags, when you first get them, if you don't play them and don't season them, they will, you've got no hope of getting these to work. So it's just kind of normal to actually look after thousands of pounds worth of equipment. You know, if you, if you wide an issue, you'd have to look after, play the triangle. Again, the more time you take on this, the better. Find dry patches, get the seasoning in that kind of area, and just rub it in to the area. So I've got a dry patch going up, up towards here and on, and on the neck of the bag. stalks and again the longer you take to do this the more time you spend on this the better your bag's going to be the more airtight it's going to be and the easier time you're going to have of playing your pipes really get in there also get along this seam because that's a place where air might start escaping like through the hemp not usually but it can depending on your bag now when you first start seasoning your bag it'll take yours probably a wee bit longer to get airtight than mine did this is my third season. And that's why you should work your corks. Right, now that mess has been cleaned up. Um, take the cork out of your blowpipe stock. Again, just be careful, even though there's no air in there, there might be some seasoning kind of lying about, so keep it facing up. Put the cork away, get your blowpipe back out. And just repeat that step from earlier, just using the air pressure to push the seasoning into the skin and into the pores. <sighs> And again, keep an eye on your corks, make sure that they're not coming loose. Push them in. Give the bag a lot, not a heavy squeeze, but just kind of a, a small squeeze. And blow at the same thing. And again, keep an eye on those corks. This will kind of help, again, push the seasoning in, in at the skin. So that most of the, the seasonings get absorbed by the skin and it's not going to drain out. Solid. I'm going to skip you both as well. Just, just be cautious.
was. Right, next steps like doing another season, okay? Right, I actually need to do this in the bathroom because um, my usual place has been taking up the Christmas decorations in the garage. So what I've done is I've emptied the air out of the bag carefully and I've taken my blowpipe out because I don't want seasoning to get trapped under the valve because if that gets stuck to the wood, it's a nightmare and it's minging to fix. So I've re-caught every stock's been caught in the bag as you can see it's now hanging from something. So find a place to hang the bag basically from a hook or something and get a basin and uh, put some kind of kitchen paper on the basin as well. You can actually pour the season back into the, into the bottle, but just be careful because you don't want to cause a, a mess. So I'm just going to do that now because this has been kind of letting it kind of come out, kind of towards the channel stock, okay? So angle the channel stock up a wee bit, well completely, so it doesn't drain out completely, straight away. Put the cock to the side, get your reach of a tub of seasoning, sorry. Just get ready to catch whatever comes out of the bag. And it's just so you can get the mist out of, you, out of a tub of seasoning, okay? Right, so once you've seasoned the bag, just let it drain for like an hour or two. Um, what you need to do is get these wire brushes out. And they go for the big ones. Um, this to get rid of any debris or any gunk that's still lying around the, the stalks because you don't want that lingering around because it can cause issues for the channels and drones. It can, you know, a piece of it can just fall off, get in the bag, and then it'll just shoot straight to your channel reed, and then that'll be it, broken. Um, so take your time, again, with everything else. Um, use your phone's flashlight to make sure you've got rid of everything. Um, if you feel like this, the walls of the stalks are a wee bit gunky, um, you can run a, maybe a brush under like some lukewarm water and just quickly just do that and then get a dry one and then follow it up immediately because you don't want the stocks to get too wet. Um, and yeah, just take your time. Um, I recommend that when you're, when you're brushing it to get it any to be around the top of the stock, just stick the brush in far. Obviously not too far because you don't want that metal bit pierced in the bag. But just stick it in and then just get a, get a twist so that the bristles can have Rub, uh, go around the outside, okay? Uh, so yep, just take your time and your bag should work fine, okay? Another wee point for a new bag actually. Um, when you first start playing it, I don't recommend you use the spit trap in for, the, for like the first month. Let the bag get some moisture in it because it, it needs it to work. Um, after the first month, then you can put the, the tube in, okay? But until then, just play with it without, let your pipes get wet. Um, also means that the tube isn't going to get clogged with seasoning. Okay, enjoy.